on Cooking with Josh, we are going to be making a delicious Subway sub that's fit for a king. Now what you're going to do, you're going to take your favorite bread, I myself pray, a 12 inch Italian loaf. What you're going to do, you're going to cut it like this, just like that, you see it's going to open, perfect. It's perfectly open, put the knife away, we don't need that anymore. Now what you're going to do, put some mayonnaise on it, you're going to slather it, just like this, just going to go boom. Hold on. Just keep slathering it. This goes in a nice little bed of mayo. Right? That's out of the way. Next, we got some meats here. We have a lot of meats. First, we're going to put some nice ham on it. Just go like one. Two, three, some roast beef. One, two, three. It's there. Now we have some turkey breast. Put it on there around right top. And to top everything off, every sandwich needs some bacon. Bacon is just delicious, it's needed. Just put it like that. Alright, good. Next up is the cheeses. We have an assortment of cheeses, five different kinds. All are necessary. What you need first, you can put some provolone on there. Just kind of put it there. Big slices are always better. The bigger the better. Next, we got some Swiss. From Switzerland. One, two, three. Got some pepper jack. Need a little bit of zest in there. That's why we have the pepper jack. So we'll put it on top. Boom, 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 boom. Got some nice old good fashioned freedom cheese. American cheese. Just sort of put that on top of pepper jack. There you go. And what sandwich would not be complete without cheddar, let's be honest. So just gonna kind of put it around. Not too much. Just enough. All right. Next on the list, we got some veggies. What we're gonna put on first? We're gonna put some lettuce on there, just so we have a nice little start for the vegetables, because there are a lot of vegetables, mind you. Just gonna just lay out there, nice and neat. We're gonna head over here, put some nice banana peppers on. We got three different kinds of peppers. We got banana, jalapeno and uh, green, green peppers, something like that. Just put some banana peppers like that over here. Got a nice little tray. Put some green bell peppers on there. Looks very nice. Put some jalapenos. Mmm, doesn't this look just wonderful? That didn't fall. Excellent. That just looks nice. Now we have some olives. Olives and strong olives. Yes, I think you can agree. Just put it on there. Next up, we got some tomatoes. Tomatoes are very juicy. Juicier the better, in my opinion. Now, what you may be asking is, why make a sandwich this big? Now, I don't know why you're asking that, because go big or go home, am I right? Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Nice. Now, you can see the sandwich is getting a little bit big. That's because I just said go big or go home, and that's what we're doing. Onions. Onions, they may make you cry, but they taste delicious. I mean, come on. Doesn't this look nice? Now to top everything off, well, not to top everything off, we got some spinach leaves. Spinach leaves, some people may not like them. I think they're just the best for me. Next to celery, but I don't like celery, so I'm not Nice. That, that is a nice little bed of spinach. And to top, to top everything off this time, we got some nice Southwest Chipotle sauce. Chipotle, oh my gosh, this stuff, just delicious. What you're gonna do, you're gonna slather this in Chipotle. It's, oh, it's nice. Just gonna kind of get a container. A spritzer is probably better than what I'm doing. But we're just gonna kind of drizzle it all over the sandwich. Just drizzle all over the sandwich. More the better. 
If you're smart, you'll use one of these. Just sort of get that all out. There you go. Now, if you'd like to, you can post this. But first you have to like put everything in there. So we're gonna kind of just sort of close it. This is the difficult part. Like, come on. This is the difficult part. What you're gonna do, you're gonna carefully put everything in and close it like that with your knife. Put this right here. And as you can see, we have a nice Subway sub made at home. It's made at home, you don't have to go to the store. Just get the ingredients from your local pantry. And look at this thing. I mean, come on. Who wouldn't want one of these, all right?